Hi guys, I hope you are doing great. Welcome to this new lesson in English on health problems, vocabulary and functions. This lesson is of paramount importance to all age groups, including third year middle school students, common core students, first year as well as second year baccalaureate students. It is also useful for both literature and science stream students. Well, in this lesson, we are going to, first of all, discover different names of diseases or sicknesses of illnesses, right? We'll discover the uh, new word items related to health problems. We'll try to learn how to answer, ask and answer questions about health. And we'll also be able to ask for and give a piece of advice. Okay, here we go. Let us first of all start learning new words related to health problems or common illnesses. First of all, um, we are going to practice the pronunciation of the words because before we discover the meaning. So just repeat after the teacher to check for pronunciation. Number one, flu. You repeat, flu. Number two, toothache. Toothache. Great. Number three, headache. Headache. Number four, sore throat. Sore throat. Great. Now we have the following pictures. We have picture number one, picture number two, and picture number three, and picture number four. All right, let us now match each picture to the right word. Let's start with the picture number one. What do you think it is about? Is it flu, toothache, headache, or sore throat? Great, this is a headache. A headache. Great. Number two. Is it flu, toothache, or sore throat? Very nice. Great. That's sore throat. Number three. Is it flu or toothache? Very good. Great. This is toothache. And the last one, number four, is, of course, flu. Very good. Now, let's discover new word items. Again, repeat after the teacher. Backache. Backache. Fever. Fever. Cough. Cough. Stomach ache. Stomach ache. All right, very good. Okay, now we have picture one, two, three, and then number four. Let's start with the picture number one. What do you think is the name of this common illness? Very good. Great. This man is suffering from a cough. Cough. Number two. Is it a backache, fever, stomach ache? Very good. Great. This has to do with stomach ache. Stomach ache. Three. Is it back ache or fever? Great, very good. Right, this has to do with fever. Fever. And number four is, of course, back ache. Great. Okay, now let us discover the last group of words. Number one, repeat after the teacher, the teacher again. Earache. Earache. <coughs> Asthma, asthma, broken leg, broken leg, broken arm, broken arm. Great. Now we have picture number one, number two, number three, and number four. Let's start with the picture number one. What do you think it is? Is it earache, asthma, broken leg, broken arm? Very good. Great. That's broken leg. 
Number two. Very good. Great. That's broken arm. This boy has got a broken arm. Three. Excellent. That's asthma. Asthma. And number four is Eric. Eric. Good job. You've done a good job, guys. Okay, now let's move to the task number two. In this task, we are going to start to learn speaking about health problems. But before that, we need to discover some very important functions that we need in order to speak about health problems, raise questions about health problems, and answer questions expressing our own problems. Well, the first function we'll be discovering has to do with asking about problems first. How do we ask about problems? We'll start with this dialogue in order to discover some basic questions to ask about problems. We got here a dialogue between Alex and Tom. Hi, Tom. How are you? Tom, I don't feel well. Alex, what's the problem? Tom, my head hurts. What should I do? Alex, well, you should take aspirin. Well, guys, what do you think are the questions in the dialogue? that are used to ask about problems and particularly health problems very good we got this question what's the problem this is a general very common question that we use to ask about problems in general we got another question maybe no well let's go to the next dialogue in this dialogue again, dialogue number two, we'll be discovering more questions about uh, problems. We got a dialogue between Amina and Laura. Amina, hi Laura, how is it going? Laura, I'm sick. Amina, what's the matter with you? Laura, my stomach hurts. What should I? What do you advise me? Amina, well, I advise you to see a doctor. Well, guys, what do you think are the questions used here to ask about problems? Yes, that's a very good. What's the matter? What's the matter? Or what's the matter with you? All right, very good. Is there any other question? Okay, let us discover more questions from dialogue number three. There is a dialogue between Karim and Jim and James. Karim, hi, James. How are you doing, James? I am not fine. Karim, why? What's wrong with you? James, I have a fever. What must I do? Karim, well, why don't you go to the hospital? Oh, okay, guys, what do you think is the question to ask about problems here? Yeah, that's a very good guy. Right? What's wrong with you or what's wrong? Very good, yes. Okay, nice, very good, guys. So these are questions to ask about problems. What's the problem? What's the matter? What's wrong? Now, let's move on to the next function. It's going to be how to express our problems, meaning how to answer these questions, All right? Good. Let's go back to the first dialogue. So what do you think, guys? Look carefully and try to find out the expressions or answers to the questions about problems. How do we express our problem? Very good. If you suffer from a specific illness, you can use this expression as you can see. I don't feel well or my head hurts. These are two expressions used here in this dialogue. Very nice. Let's move on to the dialogue number two and see more expressions. Look carefully. Can you find some? Yes, excellent job. Very good. We got here, I'm sick. This is a general way to express a health problem to show that you are sick, that you are suffering from a specific health problem. Or we can also use the adjective L. 
I am sick or I'm ill. Good job. We also have this expression, very good. My stomach hurts. Right? My stomach hurts. My head hurts. My back hurts. And so on and so forth. Good job. Let's see right now dialogue number three. What do you think are the new expressions here? Excellent. I am not fine. You can show to your friend if he asks you about, you know, what the problem with you. You can generally say that you're not fine if you don't want to specify the kind of illness you're suffering from. Well, again, we have another expression. Very good. That's it. I have a fever. I have a fever. Excellent. Let's move ahead, guys. Now we have this new function. It's of great importance. And now that you have expressed your health problem, maybe you need to ask your friend for advice. Well, how do we express or how do we ask others for advice? Let us discover them, uh, them again, going back to the first dialogue. What do you think is the expression or the question used to ask for advice here? Excellent. What should I do? What should I do? Great. Let's see dialogue number two. Mm -hmm. What do you think is the question used here to ask for advice? Excellent. Amazing job. What do you advise me? What do you advise me? How about dialogue number three? Can you find the question? great job what must I do what must I do very good now let's go to the last function now that you have that you have asked your friend for advice we need maybe right now at this moment to uh, your friend needs to know how to give you a piece of advice how to uh, you know answer the question about advice and then give you a piece of advice Let's go to the dialogue number one. Can you find the last expression to give a piece of advice to someone? Excellent job. You should take aspirin. Okay, we use this expression here, you should. And then of course, you give the appropriate advice to your friend. In this case, uh, we got a person or a boy who is suffering from a headache. So maybe one of the advices of the piece of advice that we can provide is to take uh, an aspirin. Great. Well, let's go to dialogue number two. Well, can you find the new expression here to give a piece of advice? Excellent. We can say, I advise you to see a doctor. I advise you to see a doctor. Good job. Uh-huh. Any more expressions from dialogue number three? That's it, very good. We can say, why don't you go to the hospital? This is a kind of advice and suggestion at the same time, you know, to your friend in order to, um, you know, to take care of his health in general. Well, guys, I think that we have gone through right now four basic functions. Now, let's move on to speaking about health problems right now. We're gonna have right now in task number three a role play, okay? We got two people here, all right? I'm gonna play the role of um, maybe, great, uh, you know, the old man and you the boy, right? And we'll try to see how, let's see, the dialogue goes on, right? So try to answer my questions, interact with me, great, uh, as if you are, uh, you know, one of these people. Well, Hi, Ankle. How are you doing? The old man, which means me. Um, I don't feel well. Why? What seems to be the matter? Good. My back hurts and I don't know what to do. Can you guess now that what, what the advice would be? Great. Oh, I think you should see a doctor. Yeah, thank you, son. 
Great job, you've done a good job, guys. Okay, so this is an example of a role play of a situation where you can interact with people, asking them about their health problem, uh, giving a piece of advice if necessary, and so on, all right? Okay, now this is the summary, part one. We got asking about problems, guys. You want to ask someone about, you know, what the problem is with him, right? You can just use one of these questions. What's the problem? What's the matter? What's wrong? What's up? What's going on? And if your friend wants to express his problem or her problem, you got to, uh, to use these uh, expressions, guys. I have a fever. I have a fever. I suffer from a headache. I suffer from a headache. I feel sick. I feel sick. My ear hurts. My ear hurts. You could, you know, use any other word which is related to a specific part of the body that is aching, right? My stomach hurts. My head hurts. My tooth hurts. And so on and so forth. Last expression. I don't feel well. Again, part two, to ask for advice, you can use any of these questions. What should I do? What do you advise me? What must I do? And in order to give your friend a piece of advice, you can use this, these expressions. I advise you to visit a doctor. Why don't you take a rest? You should go to the hospital. Okay, guys, thank you very much for following. I hope that you learned a lot from this vocabulary and functions lesson. And see you in another video, inshallah. Goodbye and see you soon.